Hey guys, welcome to Backyard Beer Brothers. My name's Rory Doherty and in today's episode I'm going to be drinking something a little bit different. Uh, over the weekend I actually went to the South Melbourne market. They've got a couple of bottle stores. I went into one, was a little bit pressed for time, so I just grabbed a couple of cans that I thought was a little bit interesting. And one of them is this one right here. So this is the Utopia Pink Lemonade Alcoholic Lemonade. So it'll look kind of cool. It's also 8.1%. Bam, it's bigger than the 330ml cans. There's, there's a lot going for it. Um, but to tell you a little bit about it, it's from uh, Wool Shed Brewing, which is located over in South Australia. But I'll get into it a little bit more in a second, but we'll get it out of the can and have it a little bit of a smell. So I read Pink Lemonade. That's the only thing that got me, to be honest. Uh, I mentioned I was pushed for time. We had our son. We just had lunch and he was sort of blowing out a little bit, so didn't want to hold him up too much. But there's no head. Carbonated. It smells like... It smells like old-fashioned sort of homemade lemonade. That's actually really good. Man, that smells... This actually smells grapefruity. And sort of leads me into reading the back of the can here. So I was thinking alcoholic lemonade sounds pretty good. Then it says sassy, sophisticated and blissfully refreshing. All right. Pink lemonade blends fruity uh, riverland wine mm -mm -mm -mm. with ruby grapefruit and lemon to give you the best of both worlds. Perfect over lots of ice. Now I'm not a big wine drinker. Never have been. It's like almost like my kryptonite. You know, a lot of my friends, you know, going back a little while here, used to do the, what is it, sort of joke that they're fake dinners, but we'd go out to a BYO restaurant for dinner, load up with a whole lot of bottles of wine, and I used to just get written off, and I suppose I'd be drinking a fair bit, but it was also because wine just affects me differently. I just get super drunk on wine, and that's one of the reasons why I just don't like drinking it. So, had I read that before buying it, I wouldn't have actually bought it, but here we go anyway. We've had a look. It looks like white wine now that I'm thinking about it. Carbonated though. Uh, had a smell. Let's get into it. So cheers, cheers, cheers. Let's go. Ugh. That is weird. It's like all over the shop here. As I was drinking it, I was thinking, wow, that's sweet. There's like no wine taste whatsoever, so it's actually pretty good. There is like a aftertaste sort of tang, and you do get the grapefruit and the lemon. <laughs> like, it's actually pretty good. Ugh. Don't know why I'm not enjoying it as much. Like there is... I was going to say... This sort of... Isn't a good thing, there may be a lot of people that don't relate, but there's almost like a cheap white cask wine taste going with this. Or I should say like a cask wine aftertaste. Yeah. So when I initially said there is no wine taste, that's because I'm still living on the grapefruit and the lemon there but there is a kind of not so pleasant I'm sort of thinking a lot of people go man what the fuck are you talking about when are you drinking cask wine and especially here in Australia with Goon of Fortune mate Goon bags if you're wanting to get drunk the most eco uh, economical way to do it over here is definitely Goon bags and there are multiple Goon parties Goon being cask wine because you've got the bag inside the box like I remember when I first moved over here and was living up in Queensland we used to go drink goon and you could get I think it was like a four litre box and it was called Fruity Lexia and it was a white wine drink I'm pretty sure that's what it was actually called too a white wine drink but it was like five bucks for four litres there's like an aftertaste you get when you're drinking that that is in this but at the same time it's 8.1% not bad It also comes in at uh, 2.4 standard drinks. She's pretty cold here in Melbourne, so I'm thinking maybe if it was hotter, 
as well as that, it's a uh, Monday afternoon here. Just sort of knocked off work just a little bit earlier. If this was a Friday and I was more keen to kick on, maybe I'd be enjoying this a little bit more. But that is not the one. Nah. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever want to get this again. <sighs> Oh my god. No, 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 no. It just gets worse and worse. <laughs> You're drinking it. Alright, so what are we getting with the questions? Buy it again, no. Gift, no. On tap, no. Out of 10. I did not like that at all. I think I'd give it a 4.5. Below average. <clears throat> yeah, nah, that's just definitely not me. Um, Ring a ding. There you go. <laughs> well, the drink's gone. Um, got the score. We've made it to the end of the episode. It's going to be a quick one. But if you've made it this far, please, uh, first and foremost, thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to hit the like, hit the subscribe. And as always, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.